Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. This game is a really weird, easy game, but I, I find it kind of fun. And once we get past this, we'll go to play in English. We're playing The Land Before Time. Um, music, effects, difficulty. We'll turn it down a bit. It is a little loud, a little loud you know? We'll start the game. While exploring a dark cave, Littlefoot and friends find themselves trapped. Oh no, it's a sharp tooth. Where has everyone gone? Sarah's lost in the bone desert. Spike is stuck in the swamp. The great valley is over those mountains. Let's find our friends and go home. Dusty Desert World 1-1. Press start. Moon. Oh, okay, you hold down R to run. You just jump using the X button. You can also double jump and square. Square. B is to attack. And apparently can just jump on enemies. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hang on a second, guys. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Joy's getting sick. No, I don't like getting sick. For those who like getting sick to get off school, I never really like to be sick. Even to get off school, you know? I don't know the actual purpose behind all these, uh, star leaves. Star leaves? Tree stars! There we go. Tree stars. It's been a while since I've watched the show. It's a good show, though. Yep. Ooh, I don't even know what that black orb of awesomeness does, but why does Littlefoot look really deformed? Die, Clubtail, that's apparently a runt. Wait, why am I killing baby dinosaurs anyway? Maybe these are for lives or for something. Maybe they're just for extra health, I don't know. But we beat the level. Dusty Desert, 1-2. Man, they just sound so innocent when they die, like, yep. And I, I miss a lot of old video game, or video game, movie video games, you know? I wasn't really a fan of the open season video game, but I like things like Kung Fu Panda, and uh, like Marvel games, and all that fun stuff, and Gold Tree Star. It's worth 50, holy shitty brickies. Yep. What do I feel this is just a dead end, though, that I went to? Yeah, I think it was. Wait, the arrow, I believe, is pointing this way. Oh, spikes! Throwing in some hazards here, I see, game. Ow, oh god, that's so... god-awful sounding. Oh, well that sucked. You can't jump on- jump off of enemies after you jump on them. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. These mechanics are also very simple, like, why would I ever use, like, the attack button? literally just hop around like this. Boink. Another black orb. I don't really know what these black orbs do, but... Mm. Can I, like, attack them? Can't really do anything with them. Alright, we gotta continue up this way. Maybe, like, if you find so many black orbs, you can, like, get a bonus or something. Like, this isn't blind, I never actually did figure out what those black orbs were for, even when I did play this. Oh god. That sound effect is just so grady. So deafening, so ear piercing. Man, this is actually quite a long level, I'm not gonna lie. A lot going on for it here. And I assume the hearts are actually our lives. For some reason, health and lives are separate, you know? Like, they're not the same. Or they're not, they're like reverse order. I think you get full health though anytime you go to a new level. Aha, uh -huh. oh. Wait, what? Do I go this way? Yeah, I go this way, apparently. I don't know. Wait, oh, it's a long jump. It's a long blind jump. Man, this level just repeats itself a lot. And there's a dinosaur up there, like a dead dinosaur. Sorry, I had to scratch my eye for a second. Not all of us don't have to scratch eyes, you know. Bah! 
It's like kind of like, what the fuck? Why would I? How could I even come from that way? Alright, let's continue on. Oh, more club tail. Aw, oh, this poor yipping. And there we go, the end of the level. 1 3. Yeah, so you get full health. And I don't know what Petrie does. If Petrie just flies around with you because he's completely useless or what? Oh, this looks like it's gonna be like the land of blind jumps. How did that hurt me? I clearly jumped on him. Okay. Oh god, that looks like an impaling spike of death. Don't want to touch something that can impale me. Yeah. Okay, this is just a bunch of sand. A bunch of nothingness. Okay, we don't have to go this way then. Uh, I haven't seen a sign for a while that tells us which direction to go in though. way? Maybe like a secret or something? No, literally nothing. So I'm assuming we have to go up. Even though clearly the level wasn't intended to go up. Or didn't tell us to go up. Guess we just go up this way. Oh, there we go. Man, there's no signs down there. But this game's so- Wow, that level is actually really short. Scorposaurus claw and tail spin attack his head to defeat him. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know what you mean, spin attack his head. Boink. He has no head. Oh, you don't even. I don't, I don't get what you mean by spin attack, but sure. There we go. There we go again. Oh, it's like a very delayed attack. There we go, we just crushed a giant bug and we're being pushed off screen. Yo! Hey. Sweet. Yay! Yeah, you rescued Sarah! And password. Look over there, it's the smelly mud swamp. Smelly swamp 2 1. Alright, well, I guess we're now in the swamp level. I assume you die in water because little fuck gets so Hey, headbutt. Headbutt. Headbutters? Headbutters. Not bunters, like Gunter. This is a dangerous swamp of. A beetle? Yes, a beetle is a, is a threat. Oh yeah, you do die in there, and I lost a life. God damn it. The fact that you have so many blind jumps in this game, though, is just ridiculous. Like, we don't need constant blind jumps. Whoa. Yeah, how was I supposed to deal with that, man? You just came out of nowhere, dude. Boink, boink. Whoa, that was a close one. I'm gonna go up, since up seems to be the general vicinity that we have to travel in. One point. And there we go, level done. Smelly Swamp, level two. It's now sunset. What are you doing out at night? Whoa, I'm like, am I seriously gonna miss like the one tree stump or something? Or like, go down the one spot where there's not a tree stump is what I meant to say. I guess Petrie looks for tree stars, maybe? I don't know. God, there's like a mini T-Rex. Just there to eat my soul. And a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. Whoa. <laughs> That's easy enough. No, don't fall off the ledge. How did you take damage from him, man? You jumped on him. Littlefoot is a useless baby. Wow, we ended up on the end of the level. Sweet. 2-3. Maybe I'll do like two worlds in an episode. Oh yeah, more T-Rex is fine awesomeness. Everyone likes fighting. What the? How was I supposed to know there was water down there, man? Like, like you, 
you just don't know where you're supposed to jump, so it's pretty scary. Oh yeah, I was supposed to know that there was also a T-Rex right there. A really runty T-Rex. Oh, come on, man. Just stop landing on the T-Rexes already. It's not healthy for you. Oh god, there's a T-Rex here as well. You can actually see the, uh... The arrows on the tree, if you look carefully, like on the, the limbs. Oh, there's a dinosaur there, okay. Uh, dude, you're supposed to actually kill the beetle, not... Oh god. What is this? Oh man. There's nothing here but death. How do I get back up? Uh, there's that beetle that got me last time. Oh, a T-Rex as well? Woo oh god, Jesus. That was terrifying! Run away from the sharp tooth, avoid the obstacles and deep water, escape using the branches. Okay. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a uh, auto scroll. You can't actually run away from him. Rawr. That definitely looks like one of the sharp teeth from the actual show, right? The movie man. I've watched every movie, by the way. Okay, this is a joke, right? Why did you land on the spikes? Like how he just, like, phases through the obstacles, you know, like he's not actually part of the environment or anything. Will he drown? Apparently he did drown. And you rescued Spike. Password. Come on, the tails, the tall stone mountains are just around the corner. Tall mountains, world 3-1. So in the next episode, guys, we'll be starting the tall mountains. See you guys then. Peace out.